So far, Sid and Roberta have admitted that when it comes to style, they're on a different planet. We're lost in space! And Colin and Justin have been forced to boldly go where no home heister has gone before. Islands in the stream, baby. Uh-huh. So we're putting up the crown molding today. Up around the stairs, and we're priming walls. Timeless grandeur may be the name of the boy's design, but Brian's keeping his eye on the clock. Although we've had pre-construction in this house, I think it's only just given us enough time to be comfortable to do the reno in the time we've had. And part of this buffer zone has been provided by the entire clan, who are working side by side with the team for the duration of the renovation. Sid's laying the floor in the closet. Roberta's refreshing some furniture with a lick of white paint. Philip's sanding the crown moulding. And Deborah's going beyond the beige in her parents' room. Meanwhile, Cheryl's gone to pick up the fabric she's ordered to match Colin and Justin's bold choice of bedroom wallpaper. And she's sticking by their decision. In this case, for Sid and Roberta's room, we have such a huge space, so we can actually take a really big pattern. But if you're doing a smaller space, let's say a bathroom, you might want to go for something like this, a lighter background, so that way you can make sure that there's still a lot of light in that space. All right, Cheryl, here we are. If I could just get you to confirm the uh, fabric match with the wallpaper. Let's see. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's wonderful. Perfect. You look great in the bedroom. All right, so you're ready to go. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Success for Cheryl, but the big item still missing in the bedroom is a bed. Thankfully, the boys are on the case. I like this bed, but I don't like the the scale of it for the room that we're working in. I think for another project, this would be absolutely fantastic. I like this without all of this crazy, crazy dressing. So what I like about this is the fact that it is a big four-poster, okay, and if you think grand, you always think of a four-poster bed. In this, it feels very, very stately, the carving. It's perfect, love one of them. Now let's take one of them. After their successful sourcing session, Colin and Justin gather the family for a lesson on how to make a good first impression. We brought you downtown because we're going to deal with one of your design crimes, and it's all about your foyer. Mm. Okay. I mean, you've got a really grand house from the outside, but inside it is really bland. And let me put this to you. What do you think your friends are saying behind your back when they walk into your home? Give us an idea. It's a big house. How old are those chairs? They're like, what was she thinking? Did she forget to decorate the front hallway? Okay, but how about then we actually put this to the test? We find out what people actually do say about your hallway behind your back. Oh, no. Do you like the idea? Do you like the idea to that? Oh, no. We'll wait till you see what we have planned for you here. <laughs> Colin no. and I have two sandwich boards, and on this back area here, we're going to ask random people in the street to write something behind your back. <laughs> Pop that on. Our foyer first. Well, exactly. What about this girl here? Have a good look, good or bad, be honest, turn around Sydney. Oh, come on. (laughs) Dull. Vomit inducing. Old lady. (laughs) We've got an ugly. Did a blind man design this? Lifeless. People are saying awful stuff behind your back and we've just shown you how bad it actually is. Which can only mean one thing. We need to show you how to make it much, much better. Right, come on, my loves. Now look at this for a grand entrance here at the Elgin Winter Garden Theatre. What do you think of this? It is phenomenal. It is so regal. It is it's magnificent. What we have here is a really dramatic statement, okay? You walk in here and you know you've come to an important theatre. Well, this is all about making a grand entrance. And I think for me, number one, it's the decor itself. You know, it is very well decorated. It's ornate. We're going to take an element of that and actually transplant it into your hallway. Point number two, my lovelies, is lighting. Cast your eyes up. Not some tiny little afterthought illuminating. A big, confident, theatrical chandelier proudly announcing that you've just walked into somewhere really important. Point number three is that we're going to make more 
of focal points, you know, things that are naturally beautiful, let's celebrate them. You mean the stained glass at the back there, illuminated beautifully, really draws the eye. You have your incredible sweeping staircase, we're really going to celebrate that. We're going to use floral work, okay, a really confident, big, flower arrangement to completely finish it off. Exactly. Did you say we? Don't you mean... Me? Well, okay, you guys can help with us. We're going to show you something fantastic with flowers to make a big, big statement the minute you walk through the front door. Well, the comments that the people made on the board, it was, it was kind of hurtful, uh, but I guess that's what people are saying. It's good to have the truth. The wallpaper for the bedroom has arrived and is already going up for when Colin and Justin return to inspect their black and white design. Meanwhile, oh, oh look at well, did you have it? Hey, hello, gentlemen. Would you say that you're ahead of the time, that everything's going to plan? We're on time. We feel really good. We need this to come in a day early. If you're that far ahead as you've told us you are, if you're that thrilled as we are. I we're on time. We're in great shape to finish on time. Let's finish We're not in great shape to finish one day. Of early. course we're not. Ryan. 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 We've got a whole hall to paint in here. We've got wallpaper. Don't grumble. We Maybe. don't even have the Stop wallpaper the for downstairs. Yes, we're now bringing the project in a full 24 hours ahead of schedule. I, sorry, um, I have custom pieces coming in. So if we're revealing the house on Thursday, you're going to be missing some pretty important things. Well, baby, you need to get on the phone then. Yeah, no one really checked with us. We're all bummed out a bit because uh, it's, you know, you gotta work that much harder. We'll get it finished early, but it's gonna suck. And the crew are not the only ones with a case of the blues. The homeowners have a major issue with the color scheme for their new hallway. Dude, did you see the color blue on that wall? That is nothing that I would pick. We're, We're nervous. nervous. Day three, and the boys give their verdict on the tighter deadline they've given the crew. So when will this be finished? <laughs> Mugsville. Little knowing that there's trouble brewing on the stairs. All the spindles have nicks and paint damage. So we've just added ourselves about five hours worth of work. 